Last Thursday, Education Month 2017 was launched in Region 6 at the Borbys High School. More from Sasha Ramsaran. Education Month 2017 was officially launched in Region 6 on Thursday last at the Burbies High School Auditorium. This year's observance is being held under the theme, Promoting Wellness in Communities Through Quality Education. Among those in attendance at the launching exercise were CEO of the New Amsterdam Hospital, Mr. Colin Bino, Traffic Chief, Mr. Budnarain Persaud, Mr. Alex Foster, Region 6 Literacy Coordinator, Ms. Simone Dainty, and councillors attached to the Region 6 RDC. Regional Executive Officer of Region 6, Mistress Kim Williams Stephen, in her address to the audience of adults and children, applauded the Education Department for including a signing bee as one of their many activities to celebrate Education Month. I want to applaud the Education Department for including our what we refer to as our challenging that can we make happy with that our differently able children and I want to applaud you and again I want to close by reminding you that education is the key to success I am here standing before you because of education. The role that the community must play in the development of the education sector was highlighted by Regional Chairman Mr. David Armigan. The education system must be productive and capable to become a part of the community in the community. They must take ownership of all the children in their community and make sure that they get properly prepared in the school system. And that is why it is so important for PTAs to operate in our school system so that they can also have oversight of what is happening within our school system to make sure that our children are properly prepared to face the challenges of the future. And every single stakeholder in the education system in our country, we must put our hands and our hands together and make sure that we can prepare all the children in our region to take off from in another few years. It will take some time, but in another few years, I hope that we can produce results into the 90s, which will be good enough, I think, for the nation to develop. Remarks were then delivered by Ms. Dudmati Singh, who spoke on behalf of the Honorable Minister of Education, Nicolette Henry. Education Month gives us the opportunity as a nation to analyze where we are, to identify what our needs are, and where we would like to be in a realistic way, and then to identify what we as a community, and as a community, I'm talking about the central ministry, the departments of education, school personnel, both in private and public schools, parents, and the community at large, what we must do to get where we want to be. The education fund activities serve to do two things. One, to sensitize the general public as to where we need to be and two, to motivate all ideas to come home with us so that we can realize whatever we plan to do. Cultural items, including a lively performance from the Kofona Band, were part of the program.
The observances and festivities associated with Education Month will conclude on October 5th. Sasha Ramzan reporting for Channel 8 News.